So I first came to Farmer Lake three years ago, each September. I, uh, ever since I've been coming back. It's a nice hike, uh, just outside of um, Sault Ste. Marie. You feel like you're way in the way up in the wilderness. The hike out was really nice. Um, a bit swampy. It just rained uh, over the weekend. I love hiking in the fall. I mean, this is the time of year when I start to hike. Um, basically, once the temperatures get nice and cool, the bugs go away. That's really when I start to come out and enjoy the outdoors. Um, I just love it this time of year. It's, it's just perfect. Leaves are starting to change. You can see on the other side of the lake, some reds and oranges coming through. Yeah, before coming out here, I was like thinking I should, I should probably draw something out when I'm out there. I thought, what well, better fitting thing to draw but the silhouette of the Farmer Lake? Another idea popped into my head. I was like, oh, maybe I should. Uh, create a video for it. And, uh, and here we are, making a video. <laughs> I was thinking like, oh, you know, I could probably draw something that has a bit more of a broader subject matter. For example, uh, just something more general, where people from all around the world could really relate to. You know, the farmer, this farmer lake illustration is something that only a very small number of people will connect with. Uh, there's a lot of people who live in Sault Ste. Marie that don't even know that a place like this exists and is accessible to them quite easily if you are willing to Know, put the work into it. Um, I mean, Farmer Lake is getting a little bit more exposure now with uh, with the you know, proposal of a few bike, not bike trails coming up this area, which I'm really excited for and, and very, very thrilled uh, to see that come into fruition. And um, and I thought, you know, like this is really. What I want to illustrate is this lake. A small lake in comparison to the whole world. It is literally a needle in a ginormous haystack. Like bigger than the regular haystack. But it's special. And this print might only, or this illustration rather, might only speak to a very small group of individuals relative to the rest of the world. But that's okay. I like it. And if you like it, that's great. That's all that matters. That's <laughs> all that matters to me, honestly. The other sense of this is, you know, inspiring others to, to go and, and do something different. Change your routine up. Uh, as an artist, um, in order to grow, I have to try new things. I have to evolve my style. I have to change things up. Personally, I really enjoy change. I think the reason why is because when things change, you're open to so many new opportunities and so many new experiences. And that's not to say that all change is good. 
sometimes change can be really difficult to process. Um, oftentimes, it can, can be very easy. But in the perspective of being a creative, I just did the exact same thing over and over and over again. It would just get boring over time. Which is why, you know, making a video of me drawing is, is different. It's something new. It's something exciting. Um, and then it's exciting for you, the viewer, but it's also exciting for myself, the creator. Um, I get to expand my horizons. I get to expand my skills. And that, to me, is, is just liquid gold. There's always, always going to be something new, always something new. I want to always create something new, try something different. It's, it's part of, it's, it's what I think is the most beautiful part of life. And, um, and I just wanted to share that with, with everyone. I find that a lot of people, and myself included, we don't, take those leaps and risks that we should be taking and we all have dreams we all have wishes we all we all have those why aren't we chasing them um, I, I haven't really met too many people who are like in love with change honestly and uh, so I always feel kind of weird when I'm like, I love change, um, but like, it's I've never I haven't been always like this. It's just something that I've grown, I've learned that is necessary and required to get anywhere. Um, to get anywhere you want, you have to change. You have to you have to embrace the uncertainties in life and just go with it. So, yeah. This place is beautiful, like honestly, I, can, I honestly can't believe that I have this place all to myself. I've been here for like two hours on a soul. Um, on a soul here. On a soul here. Anyway. I better get going. Yeah, I better get going. I better get hiking. There it is, Farmer Lake. Oh no, I can't get up. <laughs> I can't get up. I'm getting old.